Right here is the burial site of Jonathan Sinanian. This may seem an unlikely place for a history lesson, but it's really not. Uh, and you'll see a headstone there, uh, very prominent Armenian. The history of one local culture is documented here in earth and stone. Who is considered the first Armenian born in California. This is the Ararat Cemetery at Belmont and Hughes in Fresno, the only Armenian cemetery in the United States. It's 130 years old, and many of the thousands interred here reflect that. Can you read what it says? Yes, it's uh, Garabed G. Hovanesian. He was born in, um, it looks like May of 1886 and died in May of 1889. Our tour guides, local historians Frank Balakian and Merher Chekardemian. Is this the one that's numbered backwards? I think it is. We walked the plots and looked at names, each special to a local family, and some important to the community and the world. Like the Seropian brothers, the very first Armenians to come to Fresno in 1881. So Jacob came first and then? And then uh, his brothers, Garabed and Simon, also arrived. Pilot Joe Shahakian, who flew the sacred cow, the presidential aircraft for President Harry Truman in World War II. Well, this is a name, William Saroyan, that's yeah. all over the world. And Pulitzer Prize winning author and playwright William Saroyan. He was cremated, his, his, uh, his uh, remains were cremated and half were interred here at, in Fresno and the other half went to Yerevan, Armenia. There are remembrances here of Armenia's tragic past. This monument, erected in 1968 by the Manugian family for those who died in the Armenian genocide 100 years ago. So here is buried the remains of unknown Armenians martyred by the Turks uh, in 1915-1918. It is the only place in the Western world where actual remains are contained. This 10-acre plot of history is a stop for school tours and history buffs. Executive Director Sherry Manning Cartwright says this stone cross gets a lot of attention. It's a memorial to Visalia-born Monty Melkonian. He was your average American boy who got interested in his Armenian heritage, and he went and he joined um, the secret Armenian army for the liberation of Nagorno-Karabakh. Melkonian died on the battlefield in 1993 and was buried in Armenia, but he is not forgotten here. Nor was another war hero, Sogaman Talirian, who survived the genocide and got vengeance by assassinating one of the Ottoman Empire's top leaders. He was tried for the murder and acquitted. This reminds you of the million and a half that were massacred and they were, it was genocide, everybody knows that. And uh, this reminds you the one that really arranged every one of those people. Thirteen decades of history on more than 10 acres of land, documenting a culture that came here, made an impact here, and now rests here for eternity.